Hello and welcome, it's Jimmy Cube. I am here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on a very, very hot and very, very humid day. Um, I'm doing this canvas, this canvas, it is a 30.5 centimetre by 30.5 or 12 inch square canvas. It came with this lovely little frame so when it's finished it can go directly in its frame so that's a really good buy to buy um, canvas that has a frame. I have used my masking tape for the bottom of my canvas to keep it as clean as I possibly can and then I've used my giant push pins and I've hit them in with a hammer um, and then you wiggle them out to get them out but all of the materials I use are in the drop down box in my Amazon store or the links that I provide below so I'm getting asked lately obviously there's lots of um, new um, you know from beginning to end so that is all in the um, supplies in the drop down box and in my playlist for beginners there's all the information that you need there radio let's get started i've been sort of stuck on this lovely doing a background first and then embellishing the background so i am going to do that again today so i'm going to just move the canvas out of the way i'm going to use just my white but i'm going to do a ring pour for my background with green in it you know not everybody likes green but it hopefully it will be a su supple so i'm going to just only put a bit of green not too much it will be mostly the white but definitely the green will come out in it hopefully it's not too much that was probably more than is needed but this is the cup so I'm just sort of using this as my dirty cup a dirty cup pour but I'm going to kind of ring pour it so it gives a really wonderful effect on the canvas hopefully um, bring the canvas back just so that canvas is a bit wobbly there maybe I've um, knocked in my push pins not correct but I don't think this particular composition is going to rely too much on it being exactly um, I think it should be fine but if you're a perfectionist as I know lots of people are get it straight so I'm just going to give that one little stir around for a couple of stirs Ooh, I hope that it doesn't come out too dark or too green right here we go so it's going to uh, maybe I yeah ring it ring pour so this is going to be the background to my um, composition that will hopefully just pop now that's coming out really white hey oh, that's okay no worries got to have enough of this paint the, to tilt it all over my canvas so it is mostly white but that's okay it'll be supple it's better than the green taking over I guess so just from corner to corner I won't go right over the corners yet I'll just feed it around the canvas so it kind of sets the canvas up with a nicer background than just a plain colour. And I've kind of been having some wonderful results with things I've been doing with this effect. So I'm going to stick with it. Rightio, let's go. Now, well, now I'll tilt over the corners. Tilt. So that's why it kind of looks like you've got a lot of paint because you do need to in this one tilt over the corners you can quite easily um, any spills you can 
scrape up and reuse if you wish to do so but remember in acrylic pouring a lot of the paint is actually pouring medium and not the paint itself so I might I'm just trying to get this back down this way because I like that green there and then my idea that I want to do to pop your socks can be further down the canvas so oh that green is has come absolutely beautiful I love it beautiful okay I might leave it like that just just popping finger popping my edges um okay that is gorgeous and as you can see it, some people like really plain monotone pieces i mean for somebody that might be just perfect for them um but of course it's not for me because i love my color and I've been asked to do one of these. I, you'll see that I've got a bit of a series of the, the black and white monochrome background and then adding colours to it. So we're going to um, give this one a go. Rightio, put those colours away for a second. I just love that actually, really love it. So now I'm going to really pop your socks up. So these are some paints I've had mixed for a while so I'm really hoping they're okay. This is my Berry Delicious. Um, if you have watched my acrylic pouring before you will know that I love this colour. It is um, it's the darkest red and add phalo blue and um, a blob of black if you want it to go even darker it looks black on there but it's actually a really like plum kind of a plum um, aubergine purpley color I'm gonna hand this really bright orange like I said these have been made up and stored in these bottles for quite a while so I'm really hoping ooh, that they're okay that looks a bit chunky but I'll just go with it. I'm going to go with the red. Try to keep um, marbles in the bottom of my containers so, um, oh. So they're easy when you shake them to help you mix the product that you've got in there. Rightio. I'm going to go this real hot pink over the top, which is a fluoro pink by Global Paints. So I did just mix this bit because I wanted a real pop your socks colour in there. And I'm just realising that I probably haven't got any of the other colour that I want to just put the black uh, with the Australian flow troll as my I don't think I've got enough in here this I just put this on top it sort of will make the uh, when I'm blowing it out really lacy lacy gracy I don't think I've got any in there oh there's a bit maybe maybe I just might scrape it through with this monotone background and hopefully it will really pop now I could either either um, blow it with the hair dryer or the mini dryer but I've had a lot of success more so just blowing it with my straw so I've got these stainless steel straws which you can wash in the dishwasher and even the silicone end but I use them in reverse because that's just about the right shape. Those are in my Amazon shop below too. So I have got this of a bit of a wonky, isn't it? It's not, um, yeah, they're not all central or evenly spaced, but that is not me, so here we go.
hold on, it'll get better. Those colours! See, so I did a bit of an upsy there, but that's... Oh, I could either just see if I can sort of make that a feature in that... I'll use my skewer. That's okay, that's fine, fine. Wow. Oh, I absolutely just loving these blown flowers over the top of the ring paws. I love it. Have you tried it? Have you tried it? You must do. Give it a whiz. Just use my to trace it out. Little little whips, whipsy woos. Oh my goodness, those colours. Pretty lucky with my colours, aren't I? They look super duper. I knew those colours would look nice together. Now, you can absolutely leave it exactly as it is. Let it dry. Uh, I am now tempted just to push my little balloon in the centre. Just to give it a... The balloon pushed in the centre gives it like the petals effect. So I'll give you a squeezy and show you. So this balloon's got a bit of water in, but it's kind of on its last legs. So I'll just dip it in the centre with a kiss. Ooh. And you can very well use that kiss from the centre on another canvas. Look at that. Wow. Those colours are pretty cool together. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There you go. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I am so loving that. So, let the pouring or the, the drying gods be with me because that is beautiful. I will bring you down for a quick squizzy. Super, super happy with those colours. Happy, happy with the effects. I just think that one little balloon kiss in the centre, it gives it, a, you know, like a little bit better effect. And look how the ring pour turned out with the poppy socks background. I'm really just hoping because we've got such high humidity here at the moment that my canvas dries without cracking because I have had a few canvases cracking because I have to leave I'm in air conditioning while I'm painting, but of course I can't leave the air conditioning on in the art room all day and all night for a 24 hours. So the humidity seems to be getting under the paint and making it crack. So I've really got to hope that this one stays like this. Give that a coat of either a varnish or a resin would really make it pop. So I'm just hoping that paint gets absorbed into the canvas. But didn't those colours go really beautifully together? I think they look great. All right, my lovelies, you take care of yourselves. Until tomorrow, bye for now.